there are a couple of constants in the universe that are dimensionless. Uh, there are two of them in, in view here. One is pi. It's a dimensionless constant. Pi is 3.14156, 159, on and on. Um, pi is the same number no matter what, whether you're in metric or English, how, what, whatever units you're measuring, it doesn't matter. It's a dimensionless constant. You follow me? There is another one that you probably have not run into unless you've been in advanced math. If you had a course in calculus or advanced engineering or advanced mathematics, you've come across this peculiar number called E. 2.7183 and so on. I'll come back to that in a minute. There are two major passages in the Bible that have to do with the creation. Genesis 1.1, 1, 1, of course, and John 1.1. 1, 1. Well, it's interesting. If you take Genesis 1.1 1, 1, and you take it in the Hebrew and you take the number of letters times the, pr and the product of letters divided by the number of words times the product of the words, if you do that, it turns out you get pi to four decimal places. Well, that's kind of interesting. I don't know what you do with that. Curious. It's, it's, it's a little bizarre. John Napier, by the way, is the guy, the mathematician that uh, discovered the, the, the properties of this peculiar number E. He actually was an activist for the Reformation in uh, Scotland. Uh, he's the one that uh, first used decimal points and fractions. But he's the inventor of logarithms. And uh, the natural or Napierian logarithms, named after his honor, is log to the base E. It has all kinds of properties in advanced mathematics. You'll find it in wave mechanics, electrical theory, all the distribution of prime number. It shows up everywhere in strange ways. This peculiar number called E, and it turns out to be approximated by 2.718281828182818, so on. Anyway, what's interesting, if you take the other major creation passage, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God, John 1.1, 1, 1, and you take that in the Greek, and you do the same thing we did with the Genesis passage, the number of letters times the product of letters divided by the number of words times the product of words, you get E to five, uh, four decimal places. Now, I don't know what you do with that. <laughs> it doesn't prove anything exactly. And yet it's interesting that everywhere we turn, we discover properties in the biblical text that clearly went beyond the understanding of the people that wrote it. There's no way you'll ever convince me that John was acquainted with Napierian logarithm.